This morning, we're going to take a closer look at just how the coronavirus spreads. I'm going to warn you right now, it's not the most appetizing conversation you're ever going to have, but knowing the science here can help you make smarter decisions to stay healthy. There are two main ways that you can catch the coronavirus, touching a contaminated surface and being too close to another person. But health experts worry about one way more than the other. Person-to-person -person contact spreads the virus more easily and it's harder to prevent. Both of these methods start the same, inside the nose of an infected person. The virus hijacks cells in the body to make copies of itself, and then those copies catch a ride out in tiny particles of the breath. If you were to zoom in on your breath, you'd see droplets with a bunch of copies of the virus inside. Now, the amount here matters. The amount of viral particles in droplets is called the viral load. And the higher the load that gets inside your body, the more likely you are to get infected. Contaminated droplets can scatter all over the place when an infected person sneezes or coughs. But a lot has to go wrong for you to get infected just by touching a contaminated surface. You'd have to touch it soon enough that the virus hasn't been killed, which can be a few hours or a few days depending on the surface, and then you'd have to touch your own face somewhere and let the copies of the virus in. As long as you don't do that before washing your hands or using hand sanitizer, you should be in the clear. But with person-to-person -person spread, you don't get that second chance. If droplets come out of an infected person and you're too close, it's game over. Most health experts say you should stay at least six feet away, but even more is better because sneezes and coughs can travel pretty far. <clears throat> All of this also explains why we're being asked to wear masks right now. They can trap the droplets in and therefore stop them from reaching another person. 